Hey guys, Connor here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial and uh, today I want to go over drums. So a lot of the times when you chord with drum, uh, drums with a piano what happens is it's off. As you can see it's quite off the mark here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quantize then we're gonna do fixed velocity and then we're gonna do fixed note length. This is just my personal preference so let's see what you guys think. So let's play it first. Alright, so we got some Macklemore love right here. And we're going to quantize. So let's do Command A to highlight everything. And then I'm going to do eighth notes. So you're going to notice everything is now going to snap to eighth notes. And if we play it again, it's going to be on time. Sweet. But as you notice, everything is a different color, which means everything is a different velocity, which means everything is a different volume which can be very annoying with mixing and mastering. So let's do this. Let's go functions, transform, and then fixed velocity. So I'm going to keep the velocity at 100, but you can change this velocity to whatever you like. So I guess to show you, I'll, I'll change it to 93. And then what you want to do is select and operate. And what that's going to do is look, everything is now the same velocity. OK? Now the final thing I want to show you guys is fixed note length. So transform and fixed note length. There it is. Okay, so fixed note length, what I like to do is just leave it at one and then do select and operate. And now everything is very tiny, right? But the key is that it's all the same length. So now what you can do is just take your mouse, can drag it out a little bit, you know, so you can see the notes a bit better and whatnot. And now let's play it again. Alright, so there you have it, a in-time um, automated uh, drum track. So, yep, that's it. 